<laughs> yeah, this is where we would, yeah, or the shoes and stuff. Yeah. Yum. Oh, so true. Good morning. Uh, we are sitting in a little town called Lincoln. Um, we stayed at the ski lodge again last night and decided to zero um, before going up Mount Washington. Uh, however, um, we are watching the weather because today is the last sunny day um, until Friday. And today is Monday. Um, but we so very badly needed a zero because we are hurting. And going up a million feet up Mount Washington probably would have murdered us. What is that, like 15 miles up to the top? Yeah. Yeah, and that just, just that seems like a lot. So um, we were going to do it in two days, but then that would put us on Mount Washington when the rain starts. Um, and we wouldn't be able to get our, our zero. Uh, so we are contemplating staying and doing a double zero. Um, we shuttled in with um, a bunch of people. Um, originally the shuttle was me, Diner, Soap, and P-Rex, um, but there was a second shuttle there with Pumba, Sweet Stuff, Plantasia, and Bird Dog. So the eight of us ended up squeezing into a truck and coming back all together. Um, and m me and Soap and P-Rex and Diner are all going to zero today and potentially tomorrow and maybe even the next day. Um, but we're gonna keep watching the weather because tomorrow's supposed to be lightning and thunder up on the ridge. And after Mount Washington, I believe there's like, what, do you say like 30, no, like 12 miles of ridgeline walking? Like that, yeah. And I don't think I wanna be out in the rain and thunder and lightning and all of that when um, I'm up on the ridge. <laughs> Cause that sounds terrifying. Um, I don't care if I get a view on Mount Washington. I've been getting some pretty freaking crazy views and good weather. And I just want to be able to walk up without getting struck by lightning. <laughs> um, that's like, that's the so goal. Demanding. I know, I know, I'm so picky, um, but that would be the goal. Um, but just like every mountain that we have climbed and every morning, uh, Soap and I get a little bit nauseous and kind of nervous and we're chalking it up to the fear of the unknown because we don't know what each mountain's going to be like or what each mountain's going to bring to us. Um, and that's kind of a little terrifying and nerve wracking and um, not knowing how to prepare is very stressful. So this morning, even though we are on a zero, we are very nervous about the next couple of days. Um, and I, I'm saying this because I want to keep this in mind because this is like something I'm nervous about for you, Soap, is like making sure Soap finishes before his visa's up on the 19th. Um, so if we wait out the rain here um, to get Mount Washington, um, it gives us less chance and less opportunity to wait out the rain and weather for Mount Katahdin. Um, and we are getting closer, so um, it's just a little bit nerve wracking to figure out what to do. Um, especially because we're not going to be doing our 15 mile per hour, what, what, 15 <laughs> miles per day average that we wanted to hit to get up on the 13th. Um, but that's okay because we've got a little bit of a six day cushion. Um, so lots of nerve wracking things are happening, but we're going to push through it and we're going to take it day, day by day, one step at a time and and not freak out too much, hopefully. But in the meantime, maybe you freak out a little bit. <laughs> I'm not freaking out, you are. <laughs> oh, it's another hoot. Yeah, I'm not afraid to shift the gears. Hey, 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 hey. I guess trail legs don't work for bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi, Soap. Sponsored by...